Hello everyone, I'm Mason and today we're going to be going over the top expensive, funniest, and highest rated Super Bowl commercials of all time. Let's get into it. So first is the funniest. It is a Hyundai commercial. It aired during Super Bowl 54 last year when the Chiefs beat the 49ers and it's called Smart Pock. Hey Rachel, how are you? Hey, good. How are you? He's not getting that car in there. No, sir. Look at these two troublemakers. Hey Johnny, how are you? Wicked car, is that new? Yeah, it's a Sonata. Let me pack it. Oh, you're not fitting your car in there. Chris, stop being a smarty pants, all right? Look who's got Smart Pack. Smart Pack? Just hit the clicker. Car packs itself. It's smart. It's wicked smart. And I can pack it anywhere. How about Dorchester? Packed it. Foxborough. Packed it. The Garden? Packed it. Saugus? Packed it. Swampscott? Revere? The Harbor? Are you kidding me? I packed it and then unpacked it. You unpacked it? Kid. Game changer. That Sonata ain't got no driver. That's all right. He's got Smart Pack. Hey, take him back there. He's got Smart Pack. Hey, whoa, whoa. It's Big Pop. Look at Smart. This is a ghost car. A better way to park. Only available on the all new Sonata with remote smart parking assist. Sorry about that, your bigness. Did you guys know he lived there? I had no idea. Next is the second funniest is called It's a Tide Ad. And it aired during Super Bowl 52 in 2018 when the Eagles beat the Patriots. Just a typical Super Bowl car ad. Right? Or a hilarious beer ad. <laughs> or whatever ad this is. Whatever. But it's a Tide ad. What? It's a Tide ad. What makes it a Tide ad? There are no stains. Look at those clean clothes. What else would this be an ad for? Diamonds? A gift that lasts for a new time. It's time for a cold refresh. Tie that. Fall into the sleep of you. No. Tied. No. Tied that. Extreme. No. Tied. Tied. Meet the all new. No, it's a tied ad. Tied. So, does this make every Super Bowl ad a tied ad? I think it does. Watch and see. Next is the most expensive one, which comes in at a cost of $16.8 million, and it's called What Did We Do Before Alexa? It aired last year during Super Bowl 54 when the Chiefs beat the 49ers as well. We know Super Bowl commercials are just expensive as is, but then you add celebrities and everything else and it just adds on. According to Sports News, 30 seconds of a Super Bowl commercial cost $5.6 million, which is slightly more than last month's going rate of commercials in 2021. Coming! Alexa, turn down the thermostat. Okay, turning down thermostat. Ready. Huh. Here we go. What do you think people did before Alexa? Alexa, turn the temperature down two degrees. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Alexa, tell me a joke. Jokes. Um... God, do you think I know lies? Look at me. <laughs> Next. News. Get your news here. Alex, what's today's news? Doesn't matter. It's all fake. <laughs> <laughs> Al, play that song I like. Al, next song. Alexi, tell us something interesting. Okay. The earth is flat. And a witch stole his pants. Yeah. Alexa, miss, send this message to Prince Constantine. <laughs> Alicia, remind me to delete those tapes. Yes, Mr. President. I ain't deleting. Yeah, I don't know what people did before Alexa. Alexa, play my favorite song. <laughs> The second to last one on the list is Apple's famous 1984 Super Bowl commercial. The idea of this commercial was that Macintosh would revolutionize computing and that the future of technology would bring freedom rather than control. This commercial aired on January 22nd, 1984 in the third quarter of Super Bowl 18. Another fact about this commercial is that it has aired only once on television. The first glorious anniversary of the information purification. A garden of pure ideology, where each worker may bloom, secure from the pests of any contradictory force. Vacation as a force is more powerful a weapon than any fleet or army on earth. We are one people, with one will, one 
24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh, and you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. The last one on our list is called Hey Kid Catch, and it's the highest rated one ever. This commercial has Mean Joe Green in it. It aired during the 1979 MLB playoffs before airing again months later during the Super Bowl in 1980, when the Steelers beat the Rams. Charles Edward Green was noted for his leadership, fierce competitiveness, and intimidating style of play for which he earned his nickname Mean Joe Green. Another fact about this commercial is that it took three days to film. Between me belching and going to the men's room, it took three days to film it, Green said. Green even admitted in a 1992 interview when he claimed he drank 24 Cokes during one day of filming, finishing each bottle in just a few gulps. Please, please, give him a minute. Mr. Green? Mr. Green? Yeah? You, you need any help? Mm-hmm. I, I just want you to know, I think, I think you're the best ever. Yeah, sure. Want my Coke? It's okay, you can have it. No, no. Really, you can have it. <sighs> okay. Coke Thanks. in the sky. That's all I have for you today, Broncos. Have a good weekend. Happy and well-deserved Friday, Brookwood. Today we're going to be talking about... Po Actually, no. Yeah, today we're going to be taking a break from politics and elections and Trump and Biden and all that just disgusting... Just, okay, it's not disgusting. It's actually really important. Anyways, we're going to be taking a break from that stuff. And today we're going to be talking about something much better, much more interesting, and much funner. And that is economics. You heard me right, folks. Today we're going to be talking about economics, specifically the stock market and how they brought up GameStop stocks and the 10-year-old boy who made $3,000. He's 10 years old. Like, I'm going to start off with the GameStop thing because it's, it's ridiculous in my opinion. So if you don't know what Reddit is, it's a place where tons of, it's like a, just a social media, but it's more friendly for older ages, you know? Like, I don't know how to explain it because I don't use it. Anyways, let's get into what had happened. Basically, um, Reddit users had went and, so the, there's this, there's this really big company or newspaper, I don't know, but this one, co this, this one side said the stocks for GameStop are gonna go down, okay? And this other company, which is Reddit, or the people on Reddit, it wasn't even the company, they were like, no. And then they just started buying tons of stocks for GameStop and they literally went through the roof. Like, yeah, through the roof. It's, it's ridiculous. You know, I, I forgot what they were called. One second, let me search it up. So apparently it's called Wall Street. Just just search that up right now. Wall Street said that the stocks are gonna go low and then Reddit users were like, no. Anyways, let's talk about the next very interesting and uh and cool and uh did I mention did I say interesting yet? Yeah. Very interesting and funny. There's a ten year old kid who bought some stocks, okay? His mom gave him uh, I can't remember, it was like a hundred dollars for his birthday and he spent those on stocks, okay? And you know, today, those hun that that one hundred dollars turned into three thousand dollars. Three thousand. That's three followed by three zeros. Like that's ridiculous. It's 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 mind blowing, dude. When I was ten, I was still closing the fridge door to see when the lights closed. It's like I'm. I envy that kid. He he. he I, 
he's out here making racks. I've literally never even made over $300 in my life. I mean, I don't have a job, but that doesn't matter. Anyways, that's all for today, folks. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. If you see this on set, I, I don't know. I generally don't know if you guys are going to see this or not. I hope you don't, so you, so you don't have to go through my cringy behavior. That was a joke. I'm not. Welcome back to 4 Minute Podcast, you know what I'm saying? Watch it not even yeah. be 4 minutes. <laughs> Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl with yellow feathers. I'm gonna let Kate go first then. Kate, you go first. Yeah, hey, Kate, you go first. Okay. Uh, so, we're, we're discussing the Super Bowl this weekend. Not gonna watch it. Anyway, we got, well, we got the Buccaneers versus the Chiefs this weekend. Tom Brady. I'm sorry. Tom Brady. Oh, Tom Brady again, the old man himself. <laughs> He's going for his what, six? He's going for his six, cause he lost like four. Yeah, this is his 10th appearance. And he has won, okay, yeah. He's going for his seventh win. Yeah, he's going for his seventh win. Seven, all right, all right, all right. So he has six, all right. Now, TikTok, Jonathan. TikTok, bro, there's certain stuff on TikTok. I really, like they guidelines need to work to where I see stuff that I would like to see at certain times and then stuff I don't want to see, I don't see at all. Cause like, I'll be waking up to stuff that I don't want to see. Yo, like, do you understand what guidelines mean? Yeah. <laughs> Restrictions, guidelines I don't care. <laughs> Yo, Jonathan, Jonathan, for real though, for real. The guidelines will not like change what you get on your phone. You I don't care. Yeah, that's what you're watching. It's not gonna give you like totally different stuff, bro. <laughs> we got <laughs> the stupidest exhibition match of all time: Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. What y'all think? What y'all think? How tall is Floyd Mayweather? He's five foot. I think he's five foot nine. Hold on. Five foot Honestly, nine. He's not five foot I eight. I still think he could. I still think he could win. Oh, of course, he's gonna win. Like, there's, there's like. So we got Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul, and Floyd Mayweather versus Jake Paul. So like he's going up against the both the Paul brothers. Imagine, they really that war. Yeah, he he trying to get avenge. He trying to avenge Nate Robinson. He how they claim it was gonna be in the Olympics. Now they over here trying to box everybody. I don't know. Oh, okay. Floyd's five eight. And how L tall is Logan? Logan six two. My dad told me trees fall. 